Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. My free ebook, Surfactant Science Principles and Practice, is linked to a large series of apps on my Practical Surfactants website. In this video, we use the apps to help us navigate through phase diagrams and make them far less scary. You can't really formulate sensibly in surfactant space without understanding phase diagrams, and in particular these ternary phase diagrams. The trouble is that most of us are terrified by these diagrams and have no idea what they mean. I used to be one of those, then fortunately I met Seth Lindbergh at Procter & Gamble, who's an expert on these, and together we wrote these apps. So we have these strange diagrams, water, surfactant, and some X like oil, and they're supposed to mean something. Well, just looking at them, they don't say all that much. As I move my mouse over it, we see that this particular point is water 42, surfactant 26, and X32. That may or may not be obvious to you, but where do these numbers come from? Well, if we put on the try point option, then it starts showing you how it reads off these values from the point. So W is in red, and you see that the red line is going down towards 50, and you see that W equals 50. X is blue, and you see that the blue line goes off to the left, and X is 30. So with the try point, you start to be able to read things off quite nicely. Unfortunately, people plot phase diagrams in many different ways. This is WSX, they might plot it SXW. Or they might do it saying, here's the surfactant, here's the X, and here's the water. Or they might flip it so that the numbers go the other way. This is all very confusing, but by using the Phase Diagram Explorer to read out the values, you quickly become comfortable. You can then start looking at more complicated things, like two-phase plots. As you move the mouse around, this is just a single-phase region, but as you go into the two-phase region, you see that there are two phases in the test tube, and as you move left and right along the horizontal line, you see that the relative amount of the two phases change, but the actual contents of the phases, they're encoded in the color, do not change. If I go here, obviously the colors are different. You can also have an unsymmetrical one, different one, so you can explore the phases quite easily. You can even do this with three phase plots. These are horribly complicated, but there's our three phase region which is marked usually as a little blank. And you can see that as I move around, the three phases are all the same, same color, but their relative proportions change. As I go towards the two-phase region, see, I've got three phases, through, then the bottom phase is almost disappearing, and then I just have a two-phase plot. Similarly, when I go here, so it all moves smoothly between things. There's nothing magical as I go out of the two phases. So this helps you build up your intuitions of what's going on. And if you actually have some real data, then you can view it. Here's a, one of these classic, really complicated plots. And as you move over, it's showing you what those phases are, what you would see under a polarizing microscope. So this is a very powerful way to lose your fear of phase diagrams and use them to your advantage.